Amazon's Fire TV has quickly become one of the best ways to turn a dumb TV to a smart one. But what if you want to watch American Netflix or Hulu or even Amazon Prime on your Fire TV? Well, don't fret. I'm Vans with Smart Genius Proxy, and here's how you set up Smart Genius Proxy on your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire TV. Head over to smartgeniusproxy.com, link in the description below, and create a free trial account. Smart Genius Proxy offers a 14 day free trial with no credit card being required. Next, you need to set up a Smart Genius Proxy server on your Fire TV. But before we begin, you need to find the IP address of your router. Depending on what device you have, there's different ways to go about it. A link to the detailed guide will be in the description below. But basically, to find router IP on Windows, open CMD and type in ipconfig and look for the value next to the default gateway. It should be something like 192.168.1.1 or 192.168.0.1. For Mac, type in route hyphen n get default in the terminal. If you have an Android and iOS device, then simply use Thing app, it's free and it works fine. Next, change your Amazon Fire TV or Fire TV Stick DNS server addresses. Start your Fire TV or Fire TV Sticks, go to settings, select network. Next, we want to change the Wi-Fi setting, but to bring up that menu, we need to forget the Wi-Fi network. Choose your Wi-Fi network and choose forget it. To do that, just press the button with the three lines on it afterwards and then press the select button. Choose your Wi-Fi network again, you'll be asked to introduce your password. Enter your Wi-Fi password and click on advanced. You'll have to get an IP from the same IP range as your router. To do that, use your router's IP and then change your last group of digits. For example, if your router's IP address is 192.168.0.1, you should set your Fire TV or Fire TV stick IP address to something like 192.168.0.200. Basically, we are assigning a fixed or static IP address to your Fire Stick. Make sure you pick the last group that is not used by other devices. If two devices on the same network have the same IP address, there might be network issues. Therefore, I suggest you pick a bigger number like 200 or 220, etc. In the default gateway field, enter the IP of your router that we found in the beginning of the video. Input 24 for the network prefix length and then click next. Now select your primary DNS server and enter the primary DNS server from the following smart DNS proxy IP addresses. Select the closest DNS server to your physical location. Select your secondary DNS server and then enter the secondary DNS server from the following Smart DNS Proxy IP addresses and then choose Done. And that's it. Click on Connect. Again, restart the Fire Stick so that this will clear the existing cache. There are a couple of things that you need to make sure for Amazon to think that you're browsing from the United States. Make sure you have a one-click US address on your Amazon account. Also, go to Amazon.com and your account, manage control and devices, and then country, and then choose US. Head over to the SmartDSProxy.com from your computer and connect to the same network, or even from your Fire TV, and log in. You should see a green check mark next to your DNS setup if you've done everything correctly. Next, update your IP address so our system will check your IP address and add your new IP address to a database. Once you see all the four check marks, it means that you've successfully set up Smart DNS Proxy on your Fire TV. If you face any problems at all, contact our support team, we'll be more than happy to help you. So there you go, that's how you set up Smart DNS Proxy on your Amazon Fire TV. But we highly recommend that you set it up on your router so that all your devices can stream on geo-restricted content. Check out our other videos on Netflix and Hadoop for more informative content. As always, I'm Vamsi from Smart Dance Proxy and thanks for watching.